in today's video, how to change a plowshare. I received a comment from a prior video from a viewer. His name was Dave. He lives up in Minnesota and he asked, Steve, could you do a video on how to change plowshares? Yep, we can do that. The first thing that you should do is to block up your plow somehow to keep it up in the air safely so that it doesn't come down and pinch you while you're working on the underneath of the plow removing the bolts. There's a number of ways to remove the old share from your plow. You can either get underneath and cut the bolts off from the bottom side, or you can take a grinder and grind the bolts off from the underside, or in this case, I welded each of the bolts to the plow share because what's going to happen is those old nuts are going to turn. You might get a couple of revolutions and then they're either gonna break off or they're gonna turn. It's nice that they break off because that's about the only way that you're gonna get them off. They're not gonna usually unscrew or, or, or turn themselves all the way out. So most likely, I'd say 90% of the time, they're gonna break off. So I welded each of the bolts, and as you can see on the bottom side, they did indeed break off. Once the share is removed, now is a good time to take a wire brush or a putty knife and remove any rust or debris on what's called a frog. Before you mount the new share. There's several ways to get new plowshares. You can go to your local dealer with the old plow point or share. I still call them points. Um, so if I refer to that once in a while in this video, it's the same thing, plowshare, plow point. So you can go down to the dealer and uh, they may have them in stock or they can order them. In this case, they did for me. But you can also go on line to shoop.com and this isn't a paid promotion by shoop it's just uh, that's a place that you can go and if you measure from the tip of the share it will tell you the distance each of these holes are and also down from the point of the top of the share bearing in mind this one here is going to drop down slightly. In this case, it drops down a quarter of an inch from the other three. And also that front hole will require a bigger bolt. Okay, we're now ready to mount the share onto the plow. Um, I have already done this process. I'm just reenacting this for uh, tutorial video purposes. So when you first get the share, it's going to have like a dark paint on it. And that will wear off as you use it, as you scour what's called scouring the bottoms. Now, after your bottoms are scoured, then you should apply something to keep them so they don't rust. Our family has always used grease but you can use paint, just don't use a primer paint. So with that, it's time to put the share on the plow. Okay, we have the bolts into the plow share and mounted to the plow. We still have to tighten them up. I wanna tell you that these bolts are elongated. They're not typically 
round or hex or anything like that. They're elongated so that they fit into the holes of the plow. And then these three nuts are going to be one size. This one is going to be a larger size. In this case, 11 sixteenths and three quarter. And also the old saying righty tighty lefty loosey does not apply. It's the opposite. So I'm going to tighten these up. And while I'm doing that, I want to mention, it's funny who you find out is watching your videos. I got a text message from my cousin Ann, and she said, Steve, we've been watching all of your videos. Well, thanks Ann and Norm for being dedicated viewers. You want to really snug these up tight. As tight as you can, and then a little bit more. Now I need to swap out to my three quarter inch for the front one. Take them up good and tight. After you go through the process, do it again. Go back and tighten them up one more time. It's just that easy to replace plowshares. Same goes for shins and mold boards, cultivator sweeps and shovels, same process. So I hope that this video has been helpful to anybody that wants to know how to do this process. And we're gonna wrap this up, call it a video, and until the next time, take care and God bless.